Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. I'm Laurel, and in this video, we're going to talk about fractions needed for healthcare professionals. So prior to this video, I have um, produced some videos on fractions. Specifically, I did a video on equivalent fractions. So if you need to change fraction like three quarters to an equivalent fraction with a different denominator such as eight, this video shows you how to do it. As a quick tip, what you need to do is determine what your denominator needs to be multiplied to get the new denominator, in this case two, so you multiply your numerator by the same value. So this would be equivalent to six eighths. The next video is on reducing fractions. Whenever you're dealing with fractions and you get a final answer, typically you want to reduce them. Reducing fractions means expressing them in their lowest terms. So if you have 6 eighths, we know that we can divide the, both the numerator and the denominator by 2, so it would be preferable to express it as 3 quarters. The next video talks about how you change mixed numbers to improper fractions and improper fractions back to mixed numbers. So a mixed number would be something like one and two thirds. So a mixed number means that it's a mixture of a whole number and a fraction. But if you want to express it just as a fraction, it would be called an improper fraction. And the way you do that is you take the whole number times the denominator, so one times three, plus this numerator. So three plus two is five thirds. So one and two thirds would be equivalent to five thirds. To go from an improper fraction back to a mixed number, you do the opposite, so you divide 3 into 5, goes once, with a remainder of 2. So you need to be able to go back and forth, and if you're not sure how to do that, take a look at that video. Then I did a video on each of the operations with fractions. Fractions are not easy. There's a lot of rules. There are times when you need a common denominator. There are times when you don't. There are times when you need to change mixed numbers to improper fractions and some operations you don't. Uh, there's one operation where you can cancel, but only one. So there's so many different rules when you're working with your operations with fractions. And if you're a little unsure of those rules, I strongly recommend going and taking a look at these videos and just refreshing it. There's no shame in admitting that you've forgotten how to use work with fractions. You probably haven't had to for quite some time. But it is something that you may encounter, especially when you're talking about portions or fractions of pills. So you want to be comfortable working with fractions. Once you understand the operations, the next step is understanding when to use those operations. So the focus in this video is determining what operation we use to solve the problem that we're presented with. So review these videos if necessary. But if you feel ready, let's take a look at these examples. First example says a doctor prescribes a medication to be taken as follows. Two and one quarter tablets on day one and day two, two tablets on day three and four, one and one half tablets on day five and day six, one tablet on day seven and eight, and three quarters of a tablet on day nine and 10. Determine how many tablets are needed in total. You probably wouldn't have any issues at all if there were no fractions. If I said five tablets the first two days, four tablets the next two days, and so on, you would know what to do. You would just add them up. So we're going to do the same thing with fractions. We're going to add up all of these amounts. We could also take a bit of a shortcut. If I said you needed five tablets on day one and day two, you could just take five and times two and you'd get ten tablets for the first two days. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to take two and one quarter tablets, and I'm gonna multiply by two. In order to multiply when you have fractions, you need to change mixed numbers to improper fractions. So two times four is eight plus one, that will be nine quarters times, to write two as a fraction, you write two over one. Anytime it's a whole number and it does not have a denominator, the denominator is one. Now, in order to multiply these fractions, you just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. However, we can also cancel when we're multiplying. 
which means if there's a number that can divide evenly into one of the factors in the numerator and one in the denominator, you can go ahead and cancel that. So there's a factor of two that goes into two one time, a factor of two goes into four two times. Now I can multiply nine times one is nine, two times one is two, and then I'm gonna express that as a mixed number. So two goes into nine four times and a remainder of one. So nine halves is equivalent to four and one half. I'm gonna do the same thing with day three and four. Two tablets times two will equal four tablets. Day five and six, I have one and one half tablets. So one and one half times two, because two days, that's it. I need to change that to an improper fraction. So one times two plus one is three halves times two over one. We can cancel a two out of the numerator and the denominator. And now we multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. So three over one is three. Day seven and eight, one tablet times two would be a total of two. And day nine and 10 is three quarters of a tablet times two, which is three quarters times two over one. 2 divides into there twice, 2 divides into there once, so 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 1 is 2, which we can express as 1 and 1 half. We can change that back to a mixed number. Now to find our total, let's add these. So we have 4 and 1 half, plus 4, plus 3, plus 2, plus 1 and 1 half. We can add the whole numbers. So four plus three plus two is nine, plus, and then I have four and one half plus one and one half. You can leave these as mixed numbers. You don't need them to be improper. But what you do is you add the whole number separate and you add the fraction part separate because four and one half means four plus one half. So if I can take my four and add the one and I get five, and then I've got one half plus one half. In this case, it's fairly easy, but if you have different denominators, you're going to need a common denominator to add those. One half plus one half is one. So nine plus five plus one is a total of 15 tablets. So the way that we approach these questions is the same as if they were whole numbers. They just are more work because they're fractions. Let's take a look at some more examples. Our next example says there are 12 tablets in a bottle. The prescription calls for one half of the tablet per day. How many days will the pills last? It might be helpful to think of this in terms of whole numbers. If we had 12 tablets and the prescription was, let's say, three tablets per day, and we wanna know how many days will the tablets last, we would take 12 and divide by three would last four days. So the operation we're going to choose is division. We do the same thing, even though it's a fraction. So we take the total number of tablets, which is 12, and divide by the amount given per day. We're going to express 12 as a fraction. It's 12 over 1. And the rule for when you're dividing fractions is you multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal, we just flip it so that the 2 becomes the numerator and the 1 becomes the denominator. Now, when I'm multiplying, I just go 12 times 2, which is 24, divided by 1 times 1. 24 over 1 can be expressed as a whole number 24. So it will last 24 days. Let's try a few more. Our next example says that you need to administer 100 milligrams of a medication per dose. The tablets that you have available are 400 milligrams in total. What fraction of a tablet per dose is required? So what you're going to do is take the amount that you need to administer and divide by the strength of the tablets. And then what you're gonna do is reduce that. So we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 100. So this would be one quarter. So you would administer one quarter of a tablet per dose.
Our next example says, how many pills in total would you dispense if a patient requires 125 milligrams per dose and the strength of the tablets is 500 milligrams and the patient needs the medication twice a day for eight days? So what we're going to do is start off with how much the patient needs per dose, what fraction of the pill the patient needs per dose. So if the patient requires 125 milligrams and the pill is 500 milligrams, the patient needs 125 over 500 of the pill. Now we can reduce this, 125 divides into both numbers. If you don't see that, you could reduce it by taking a smaller number. For example, we could divide five into both the numerator and the denominator. And that would give us 25 over 100. Then if you can see that 25 divides into, evenly into both numerator and denominator, you do that to get one quarter. So you keep dividing, you keep reducing your fraction until you get it to lowest terms. So it's one quarter of a tablet per dose. So the patient needs one quarter of a tablet per dose and they need two doses Per day. So we're going to multiply. One quarter times two. In order to multiply, we need to write this as two over one. We multiply our numerators, we multiply our denominators, but if you can cancel anything, first you go ahead and cancel. This rule only works when you're multiplying fractions. I have a common factor of two in this number and in this number. So if we divide by two, two goes into there once, two goes into there twice. If you don't cancel, that's fine. Just make sure you reduce when you get a final answer. Then we multiply our numerators, multiply our denominators. So we get one half of a tablet per day. And we want to know how much, how many pills for eight days. So we take one half of a tablet per day and we multiply by eight days. So that's going to be one half times eight. Again, eight over one is equivalent to eight. Before we multiply, I can cancel a two into there once, into there four times. My answer will be one times four, which is four, over one times one, which is one, and that would be a total of four tablets. So that's how many our patient needs in total. So make sure you're comfortable working with fractions. Luckily, you will not encounter fractions too often because the medical profession is uh, metric, which means all the numbers and measurements are typically in decimals, but you might encounter fractions when you're dealing with pills or tablets. So make sure you know how to handle those situations as well. My next video is going to be decimals for healthcare professionals. So when you're ready, Take a look.